Welcome to another episode in the Citrix Zen Mobile video series. In this episode, I will cover your options for moving from Zen Mobile 9 to the latest release of Zen Mobile 10. If you haven't already, you need to decide on what you want to do soon as Zen Mobile 9 reaches its end of life on June 30th. By moving to Zen Mobile 10, you will have a highly secure, capable, scalable, and performant mobility platform to build upon. Let's take a quick look at the improvements we've made in Zen Mobile 10 platform. First, the name changes. These changes only apply to the cloud-based services. The on-premises additions are unaffected. This was done to bring Zen Mobile naming in line with other Citrix cloud-based services. So Zen Mobile Cloud becomes Zen Mobile Service, MDM Edition becomes the Standard Service, Advanced Edition becomes the Advanced Service, and the Enterprise Edition becomes the Premium Service. So what do you gain with Zen Mobile 10? Well, each Zen Mobile 10 Edition and Service has additional features that weren't available for Zen Mobile 9. Although there was an App Store, an MDM console, and a separate MAM console, Zen Mobile 10 replaces these with the newly redesigned Enterprise App Store and the integrated MDM MAM Admin console. Citrix Smart Access is now included for all editions and services, and the advanced and premium services now include additional Zen Mobile secure apps and dual Netscaler VPX 3000s providing micro VPN functionality, which means no more networking hardware to buy. Now let's take a look at the new server capabilities. There have been a number of changes and enhancements in Zen Mobile 10 server. It's now a Linux appliance rather than separate servers. It has a single integrated admin console, replacing the separate MDM and MAM Zen Mobile 9 consoles. Zen Mobile 10 now uses a SQL database for simplified scalability and leverages the hypervisor of your choice. Zen Mobile 10 has a redesigned enterprise app store, and Zen Mobile apps are now available from public app stores. It supports a wider range of devices, so Apple iOS and Mac OS, Android, and Microsoft Windows 10. And Zen Mobile 10 Advanced and Premium Services include dual Netscaler VPX 3000s to provide micro VPN capability. As I mentioned, the Zen Mobile Admin Console has been redesigned to combine the functionality of the two Zen Mobile 9 consoles into one, allowing admins to easily analyze, manage, and configure their deployments. Now that you've seen some of what you get in Zen Mobile 10, let's talk about your deployment choices, transitioning to the cloud or upgrading your on-premises software. First, we will look at transitioning to the Citrix cloud with Zen Mobile Service. Zen Mobile Service is a cloud-based solution hosted and managed by Citrix. This means we take care of things like server updates and proactively monitoring all the infrastructure. We also manage Zen Mobile backup and disaster recovery and have SLAs for your Zen Mobile deployment. It's a subscription-based licensing model, so you pay as you go. There is no hard cutover. You can run your current system in parallel while transitioning to the cloud, and you can take up to two years to do this. And Citrix can help you with the transition. We also have very attractive transition pricing to preserve your investment in your current Zen Mobile software. So let's take a look at what's involved. There are four transition steps as follows. The first step is to analyze your existing Zen Mobile 9 on-premises deployment for things like devices in use, policies, and required apps. The next step is to prepare the Zen Mobile 10 cloud environment and a transition plan. Step three is to start transitioning existing Zen Mobile 9 on-premises users to the Zen Mobile 10 cloud environment. Part of the transition is the manual reconfiguration of your policies in the cloud instance. This is actually an opportunity to fine tune your policies or to take advantage of new options in Zen Mobile 10. Device re-enrollment is also required. In a cloud environment where Citrix manages the infrastructure, the Citrix Cloud Control Plane is available so you can continue to manage non-infrastructure tasks like license usage and performance statistics. And you won't be transitioning on your own. 
Citrix will be with you every step of the way. Citrix Consulting Services and the Zen Mobile Rapid Deployment Team will evaluate current status, suggest transition paths, and review any potential limitations or requirements. Consulting Services also offers some fee-based options to speed your transition, including fixed price Zen Mobile quick start engagements for up to 2,500 users. The Rapid Deployment Team will handhold your IT folks during the enterprise connectivity configuration process. They will deploy a new Zen Mobile instance, leveraging proven Citrus Cloud best practices, and will continue to handhold your IT folks throughout the engagement until the Zen Mobile instance is provisioned, enterprise connectivity established, and the first test enrollments have been completed. The Citrus Cloud adoption team will engage to provide help and support with end user communication needed for the transition from your existing Zen Mobile on premises environment to the new Zen Mobile cloud environment. The last step is to retire your Zen Mobile 9 on premises environment. You can run your Zen Mobile 9 system in parallel with your Zen Mobile 10 service for two years, which gives you plenty of time to transition your users to the cloud. At the end of two years, though, you must rescind your Zen Mobile 9 licenses. And that's it. You are now in the cloud with Zen Mobile service. Now let's take a look at what's involved in upgrading Zen Mobile 9 to Zen Mobile 10. Starting with the same Zen Mobile 9 configuration, there are some changes you must account for when upgrading to Zen Mobile 10. The server infrastructure has changed. Your server now requires a hypervisor and a SQL database to run the Zen Mobile server instance, which is now a Linux appliance. Benefits of this change include being able to run multiple Zen Mobile instances on the same server, and Windows server licenses are no longer required to run Zen Mobile. The supported hypervisors include Hyper-V, vSphere, and if you don't already have it, take a look at Citrix Zen Server. It's a great choice. And if you're a Zen App or Zen Desktop customer, those licenses already include an entitlement for Zen Server, so it costs you nothing. And the included Zen Center console allows you to perform the various infrastructure management tasks, such as creating, starting, and stopping instances. The Zen Mobile Admin console remains the same, one for each instance. Once you have the infrastructure in place and the Zen Mobile 10 appliance installed, Use the Zen Mobile Migration Toolkit to start migrating your users from your existing on-prem Windows MDM server and Linux App Controller server to the Zen Mobile 10 Linux appliance. Again, this is a really good opportunity to fine-tune your existing policies and to take advantage of new features in Zen Mobile 10. So while you have to manually reconfigure your policies, no device re-enrollment is required. And that's the upgrade to Zen Mobile 10. On the Citrix.com Zen Mobile product page and on the Citrix product documentation page, you may access any of these sites and technical documents. Citrix Education offers five training courses for Zen Mobile, from the basics to becoming a Citrix Mobility Specialist. If you should have questions or need support for Zen Mobile, there are lots of places you can go, such as Citrix Support, your reseller, CUGC, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future installations of this series.